kid as a performance at the Memorial Cup. Liked it a lot. Um, really bullish on the way that he played. He, For a young player, he, he took a leadership role. He was playing important minutes uh, through this tournament and pretty pretty interesting to see how much they leaned on him. Uh, for me, this is a, a kid I would take high in the draft. Yeah, no, I'm with you on that one and the performance certainly backed that up. Thanks for this. This sort of nugget that comes out over the weekend that the kid had a lengthy interview with the Ottawa Senators and with the Senators pushing hard with the youth movement, boy, this might be a perfect fit for him to step in, possibly get more playing time and maybe make a quicker jump to the next level than initially anticipated. But the Senators said to be in play and I'm told that the conversation was very well received by both parties on that one. How about some of the other nuggets that we picked up over the weekend from the combine? Flyers interviewed with the kid over the weekend. Yes, the city that might tend to boo a safe landing just might be an ideal fit for the kid uh, in the city of brotherly love. So let's see how things play out. But the kid just might potentially be wearing orange in the future as a professional hockey player. But I do like that sort of mesh between the Flyers and the youngster as we get closer to draft day. Now, some of the other potential scenarios that we've been looking at. Are... Now, when you look at what some people are reporting on social media, Ray, uh, the Ducks are supposed to meet with this kid here. Do you see a fit with the quack attack? Can be. Um, I, I never really know how much they get out of the um, out of the interviews. Maybe a nugget here or a nugget there, but I, I'm always interested when teams zone in on one player. Yeah, I mean, putting a lot of stock, obviously, in, in that particular case, and we'll wait and see if uh, that ultimately comes to light.
getting closer to the big draft day. And I'll tell you what, we look at some of the draft rankings and some of the scouts that I've talked to. I think we're all kind of on the same page. We've got this kid ranked pretty high, and he has put himself in a position to be a very high selection in that first round when we get to draft day. Keep an eye on him. Mark my words. Anybody who passes on him may be regretting this one in a big, big way five, ten years down the road. All right, time for a quick break. We'll get more. <laughs> conversation with Ray Ferraro here on the show and man that's got to be a nice moment for the kid getting drafted and hearing his name called uh, it's better than that James it's a realization really of a lifelong dream I mean since he's a little kid he's been dreaming about getting drafted into the NHL now the understanding that we've got is that the kid was supposed to be heading down to the rink sometime today to kind of check out the new surroundings this has got to be like the first day of school Razor guaranteed he would have gone early to go and take a look at the locker room you walk in there for the first time you can't believe your lifelong dreams are about to happen and when you're looking around i'm assuming you know is he thinking the nameplate might be up there oh you're hoping but you know yeah. he's gonna learn that those trainers don't miss very often the jersey's ready your name has never looked so good as when it's on top of your stall but what I remember, James, is the excitement, the nervousness, how scared you were. And then you're like, I'm in an NHL room. I can't believe this. It is the very best of feelings that you can have till you step on the ice the first time. Thank mm -hmm. you. 